Yeah, NKB 1000. Working with Smart PSS. So the first thing first, we add the USB cable into the Smart PSS. So for this, you need a USB to USB cable. And then the other side of the USB is gonna go into the PC. Now, then we're gonna power the NKB 1000 up. Okay, now when you power this up, your PC needs to be connected to the internet for the drivers to be installed automatically. If they do not install it automatically and you don't receive a notification in the right hand bottom corner saying Gidget drivers are being installed, then you would have to go to device manager and USB um, and then actually manually right click on USB on the actual device and then install drivers. Okay, so once our drivers are installing, NKB is powering up. In that time, what you need to do is go to Smart PSS, go into Devices, uh, do an auto search, and search for your Dava devices on the network. Um, what you're going to do is then is add the NVR. So you're going to look for an NVR your recorder with all your cameras on there. Uh, once you found that, where are you? Okay, so I've got one there. I've already added one. Once you've chosen it, you're going to click Add, press OK. You're going to put the username of the NVR in or the DVR and put the password in, press OK and it would automatically add here. And then you'll see the status, status will should say online. Okay, once uh, that status is online, Smart PSS will automatically recognize that there is a keyboard actually uh, connected to your PC once the drive is installed. And as you can see on the Smart PSS, you've got a modification, configuration, logout, delete, and a modified channel. Modified channel is very important because this is how you're gonna control your channels from your NKB 1000. So what I did on this section is I changed. So at default, they probably come as 52006. Uh, just for argument's sake, I changed the first channel, my first channel one on my recorder, from my first camera, I've changed 2001. You can just double click and put whatever number you like in. For my second one is my uh, PTZ, so I've just touched 2002, 2003, 2004, and 2005. So I've done five channels, for example, and then you'll save. Once you've saved that, you'll go into Live View, and as you can see, I have all my recorders. What I'm going to do is close all these videos because I initially want to control the NKB 1000 and I want my cameras to come up here. So on the NKB 1000, we're going to log into it. So 888888 is the default account, press enter and you're going to see mode view. You have another option of TV wall, so you can also configure a TV wall. But in this video we will show you um, the basic of adding uh, normal cameras and basic use. So in mode view we're going to hit enter and you'll see view, window, camera and use. So in this section is where we're going to add, if you remember where we looked on the smart PSS, uh, you can see that we've changed our first channel to 2001 and 2002 and so on up to 2005. So we we'll go back to live view and what we're going to do is we're going to choose our channel uh, identification, should we call it, is 2001 and we're going to press camera and you will see that live view will appear uh, for channel 1. And for channel 2, if I add my second channel, I just put 2002, which I gave my second channel a 2002, and hit cam. And you can see my second channel has come up on my Smart PSS. I'm going to add another one, 2003, which was my third one, and hit cam, and my third channel has come up. And 2004, cam, and my fourth channel has come up. So, now, to understand what channel we're actually on, and what we're working with is a white box is highlighted, as you can see, around uh, on the Smart PSS. Now, in order for to navigate across to each one, for the white box to highlight and whichever camera we want to choose, we want to choose, let's say I want to choose my channel two, and my channel two is up here. So my channel two, I would, I would click on two, and I would click ID. And as you can see, the box is highlighted on channel two. If I hit channel three, ID, my channel three is highlighted. There is also another way you want to do it. You can
can choose channel 2 and click on PTZ and it also highlights channel 1 PTZ and it also highlights whether it's a PTZ or not so now comes as soon as soon as our box highlights you can always control it straight away whatever box you want to highlight I mean they're not all PTZs um, that's a dome camera that's a bullet camera and that's a people camera camera my only PTZ is my second channel up here so once it's highlighted if I go to one ID you'll notice that my channel channel 2 is highlighted or channel 3 rather it's highlighted but it's got no PTZ control on it but so I want to control my PTZ I'll go to one ID uh, which one was it uh, Mm. Oh, yeah, one ID, that's the one, and I can control my PTZ without an issue. Now, how are we going to make these into full screen? I'm going to click on the FN button and click one, and then click FN again, and it's full screen. If I want to go to my channel two, I will click on FN two, FN brings me back to this screen, FN two. And it FN and it brings me back to full screen if you just want to go to you just want to go basically back to uh, full screen mode you go four multi if you want to go to eight screen mode go to eight multi eight screen mode you want to go to 16 uh, split mode 16 multi and you can 16 you want to go to 32 it will go to 32 oh. So it's 32, 16, yeah, 32, multi, yep. Uh, so 64, multi. It will go to 64. So if I just want to go back to my full split screen, full, multi. So uh, that is video one on this uh, with the NKB1000 Smart PSS. We'll cut that bit out anyway.